Hey guys, and welcome back to the next part in the modern tutorial. Now, I've already went ahead here and created the ash.css file, which is going to be uh, the, the file we're going to use. So, I'm going to create some ash. That's the item. It's going to be a basic item, and I'm going to tell you what to do. So, first, you need to type using system, using Microsoft XNA framework, using Terraria, using terraria.id and using terraria.modloader and make sure all of those have semicolons on the end now to start the actual code you want to type in namespace and then the name of the mod so it's the mod folder and then dot items because we put this file in an items folder <laughs> so then you want to open up some parentheses think of parentheses, just curly brackets and a tab to create the correct uh, space in now, in this line, you want to put like, in public class ash, because that's what we're going to call this item, and then as a mod item. Now, then you're going to open up some more curly brackets, and in this one, you want to type in public override, override, override void and set defaults with two regular brackets. <laughs> now, once more, you're going to open up some uh, curly brackets, and this is where you define some of the items things. So, item.name, and then ash, that's just the name of the item in-game. Item.width and item.height is the actual, like, it's the size of the .png or the image folder for the item, and I'll, we'll get to that later. Item.max stack is the max stack you can have the item in-game. Item.tooltip is the tooltip which appears, and you can actually have two. I don't know if you can have three, but all you'd have to do is item.tooltip2. So I've just put a pile of ash and probably still hot. And make sure to end this, all of these with a semicolon, by the way. Then, item.value equals a thousand. I'll explain more about this later when it gets to things which should be worth more, but that's the money value. And then finally, item.rare equals one. Now, you go out of those curly brackets and you type public override void and add recipes. So, you're going to add a basic recipe. Uh, now, I'm going to make it use vin like resources already in Terraria. So, we're going to type in mod recipe. Recipe equals new mod recipe. And then in brackets, mod. Semicolon. Then, recipe.add ingredients. Now, in here, you want to type in terraria.id in capital. Then, item ID. And then dot wood, because we're going to be using wood to make ash. Type in a comma, space, and then however many you want of that item. And then you just add uh, as many lines that for as many ingredients as you want. Then you want to type in recipe dot add tile. Then terraria dot id dot tile id dot furnaces. And make sure you put an S on the end, because it means you'll be able to craft it on both types of furnaces. And... Uh, the final two is recipe dot set result and then in brackets this, and then also recipe dot add recipe, and then just two regular brackets and semicolon. So now I'm just gonna quickly show you creating the image for Ash. Now I used uh, Fireworks, Adobe Fireworks. It's CS6, which is the last version because they're not continuing development of Fireworks. Now our uh, Basically, all items in Terraria, give or take like a few, have a dark outline. So I start by creating the outline of the shape I want, roughly. And I'm not good at spriting, but like I'm decent. And there are a few rules you can follow. So I was just imagining like in a pile of ash, and then I was trying to find a correct color for the middle. But then I kind of decided that it was too uh, light, so I just make it darker, and then I make the outline darker as well. So now I'm just adding details. This was kind of random, just there wasn't really much like coordination of the pattern in this. I was just random. And to be honest, from a distance in game actually looks fine. So that was that, and then I just save it in uh my games, Terraria, T Mod Loader, Mod Sources, the and then the file. It has to be at the same place as the CS file. So now we're in game. You wanna click mod sources and then build and reload and as you can see there it worked fine so now I'm just gonna start our test world here now, I do already have the item but that was a test one from before so if I just spin that I now need to get 20 wood 
So let's just cut down a tree here. Uh, while I'm cutting down a tree, I'd actually like to give a shout out to Fury Forge who commented on the first episode yesterday. I really like some of you work for your forge, so you should definitely continue. And uh, thank you for the feedback. So now I'm going to go over to a furnace, which I created earlier, over to the right. I don't know why I checked that chest, I'd already checked it before. But if you remember, I set it to 20 wood at a furnace. So as you can see here, there's the uh, ash, a pile of ash, and probably still hot, everything we've set it to. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this modern tutorial. They'll probably be coming out every week now. It's just uh, yesterday's wasn't very big, so I wanted to do, do like another one today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day.